Yo, what is up, everybody? It's your boy, Joshy P. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another video. Now, guys, look, I just want to take a second here. Uh, this is big news, okay? But just a second here to just apologize. It has been... <clears throat> let me see how long... It has been... I haven't uploaded a video since 2015. And it was... Hold on, Internet's being super slow right now. Um, December 15th. It was after the Bills game. I was at that game. Um, so, yeah, it's been like three three months. A solid three months since I've uploaded a video. And I just wanted to say that I am very, very, very sorry. <sighs> I should have been updating everybody on e the Eagles. But really, when we didn't make the playoffs and we started losing after the Bills game, um, it was not fun. It was not a fun time to be a fan. And I did not want to make videos. I was not excited to make videos. And um, I just decided to take a little break. But now we are back. Clean slate. New coach. New coaching staff. A great one, I might add. A great one. Uh, with Doug Peterson, Jim Schwartz, and Frank Reich, I believe. Or something like that. I forget his name. Ex-Chargers offensive coordinator. He should be pretty good. Um... And I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, hopefully Dougie Boy runs a good good offense. But now, this offseason has been pretty good so far. We've retained a lot of our guys. Brent Selleck, Zach Ertz, uh, Vinnie Curry, Lane Johnson, and Malcolm Jenkins, and Najee Good. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Seven guys. Or six guys, sorry. And now seven. We're keeping Sammy B around for at least another two years. And it's a very team, team, team friendly deal. $36 million over two years with 26 guaranteed. So basically, it's basically $13 million a year guaranteed. There's incentives. I got some tweets here. Um, 26 total guaranteed, 22 f guaranteed upon signing, $18 million in 2016, and up to $20 million with playoff wins. His cap hit this year is $12.5 million, so they have $18 million left in free agency. Um, these are coming from Tyler Stieg. He is Eagles fan talk on Twitter. He's a great follow. He's really uh, analytic, and he knows everything pretty much that goes down with this team. And he's got some great opinions as well. Um, so he says basically that the, the contract is structured like a franchise tag with a second-year option. So basically if he sucks this year, which I don't think he will like at all, then we can drop him for a very low cap hit number. Uh basically around four million next year if we if we drop him and i don't think we'll be dropping sleeves i think he's going to come back this year especially with an off season to work with the team last year he was re rehabbing that acl uh so good good job on howie roseman getting this deal done and now we can take the draft we can take free agency we don't have to worry about a quarterback or at least a starting quarterback i'd still like them to get a quarterback maybe in the third or fourth round of this year's draft hey even in the first round if paxton lynch if paxton lynch drops to 13 you take that guy okay if jared goff drops to, drops to 13 you take him if carson wentz drops to 13 jared goff and Car carson wentz won't drop to 13 but if they do if any of the three guys this year drop to 13 you take them you let him sit behind Sammy B. But really, what this means is free agency. We don't have to worry about a quarterback. We can go out and we can get our safety. We can go out. We can we can help the offensive line through the draft as well. And and maybe even get a veteran wide receiver in there. I wouldn't mind going out and getting Marquez Colston, who the Saints just released the other day on a very low uh, deal. Very low deal because he's old and He's not what he used to be, but he can still come in here, provide a veteran presence, and th that dude's a player. Against us, he was hurt. He was injured playing against the t uh, the Eagles this year, and he played great. Um, you could tell he was injured. He was out there running the ball and everything. This dude's a competitor. I'd love to go out and grab him or whatever, you know. The team can still get more cap space. I, I picture them cutting Mark Sanchez. Uh, who else can they cut? They already cut D'Amico Ryans and Riley Cooper. They could cut Darren Sproles. I don't see that happening. They could even cut Jason Peters, but I don't see that happening either. Um, so the cap million, the cap can go up about like three or four million dollars with the uh, if you cut Mark Sanchez um, and maybe Darren Sproles, but I don't see that happening. 
a lot of people have been suggesting as well that they could trade the Marco Murray and draft Ezekiel Elliott in the draft, which I'm not completely opposed to, but I don't know. I don't know. You, you got to realize that this team doesn't have a second round pick, so I wouldn't mind moving back in the first and picking up a second round pick. That that'd be ideal, actually, or even trading away one of our thirds. We have two thirds this year, I'm pretty sure, for a second wouldn't be terribly bad either, or like whatever, an asset and and a pick, whatever it is. Uh, so basically, this is a big, big, big news, and I'm just coming back to bring this to you guys. Um, sorry, I haven't been around in a while, but Sammy B. Definitely my guy. I love Sam Bradford. You saw what he could do at the end of the season. I think he could be even better than that, especially with an offseason of preparation with these guys. He started to develop chemistry with Jordan Matthews and Zach Ertz. Dude's accurate. He can take a hit. He's shown that. I mean, he did get killed in that Miami game when he hurt his shoulder. I mean, any quarterback gets hurt from that, dude. Like, So his, in, his injury... I don't think he's injury prone anymore. The ACL thing is behind him. Sammy B is going to be back this year. He's going to be better than ever. I think he's going to silence all the haters. And everybody that didn't want to sign him for $18 million, now you got a team-friendly deal. So support your fucking quarterback. All right? Support your quarterback. Please, just do it. Let it happen. If you're a Philly fan, you got to support your guy. All right? you got to do it. The, you, the players see that, okay? They see when the fans don't like them in town. They see when you boo. It gets to them. As much as they say it doesn't, it gets to him. I guarantee it, it gets to him. So support your quarterback, support Sammy B, leave a like, follow me on Twitter, subscribe. I'm, I'm back, guys. I'm back. I'm going to be, and now the free agency's here, I'm going to be giving you guys all the rumors, all the signings before pre, pre-draft, uh, uh, mock drafts and stuff for me. I got you guys covered. I did this last year. I'm back at it doing it again. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.